Hello everyone, this is Pradeep from Tech and Training Corporate Solutions. Today I'm creating a video series on VLOOKUP and the limitations of VLOOKUP and how to overcome those limitations. This could be a little bit a bigger topic which uh, is going to be split into two or three video series. This is the first video in that series where I'm going to talk about what is VLOOKUP and how to do VLOOKUP. Before I begin with that, let me show you that the data that I've got is a normal data where I have customer ID, customer name and the other details of the customer. But the important field here is this product ID. I have taken the account of all the customers and also marked what all products have they purchased. The second sheet has got product ledger where product ID, product details and the standard cost and the standard price is defined. I simply want to club this data with the sales data. Having said that, what I mean is I want to find out the name of this product ID as well as the cost. In order to do that, I'll do a simple VLOOKUP. Now, what is VLOOKUP? V stand for vertical. Lookup means search. VLOOKUP is nothing but a vertical search function. So here it means that we are searching for something. So what I need to do is I want to search these product IDs in this first column and if I come across those product ID then I need to pull the respective details. It could be product name, it could be product cost or product price. So in order to get this detail in the first sheet which is sales data, I will do a simple VLOOKUP function. So here I type equal to VLOOKUP and I press tab to select that function. I can either straight away write these functions or I can press shift F3 to open this function argument screen. This function argument screen is extremely helpful because in this I do not need to put quotes, I do not need to put comma and brackets are not required as well. So let's first talk about the lookup value. Now this lookup value is the value which is to be searched in both the table. So here I am looking up for these product based on this product ID which is also mentioned in the other sheet. So my lookup value becomes this field, this value. In other words, I can say that VLOOKUP is a search function. So you all, of course, need to know what are you searching for. So I'm searching for this product ID. If you know what to search for, you also need to know where to search for that product. Now my product is listed in product ledger sheet and it is this range where I have to find the product and the respective detail. But people, let me tell you before we go ahead and do VLOOKUP, this range that you have selected, within this range, the lookup value will be searched only in the first column or the leftmost column. That means I am looking up for product ID, which should be the first column in the table array. Now, if it is not the left column, Let's say if it is a third column, product ID is mentioned here. You can only look up the standard price if the product ID was in this column. If you want to look up these two columns as well, then you will have to cut and paste this and make it as a left column. So this is the limitation of VLOOKUP. We do have the solution. You can expect the solution in the next coming video. Now, so I have selected this range. Now there are two types of selection. One is the perfect selection the way I did. When we do this kind of selection, it is mandatory to freeze the reference. If you don't freeze it, you will not get the perfect answer. You may try without freezing it and find out what is the result of not freezing a data. However, if you do not want to freeze it, there's one more way of selection and that is select the entire column. Well, this is not recommended for the files which has got huge data because this might slow down this performance of your work. So in this case, I would recommend to go ahead and select this much data only. Well, it's your choice how to go ahead. So I freeze this data and now I am looking for product name. So in order to get the product name, this happens to be the second column. So this is the first column. This is the second column to get the data into the sheet. So I'll put two here. Hence my column index number becomes two. Now here, this field is an interesting field people. 
generally I've seen people putting only zero in VLOOKUP. Let me first tell you what zero means and then we'll talk about one as well. Zero means false, one means true. You can either put zero or one or you may even go ahead and type true and false accordingly. Zero means you are looking for the perfect match. That means if you're looking for this ID, it has to be available in the other table array sheet. If it is not available, VLOOKUP is going to give you error. But if it is available, then it should return the value. VLOOKUP will discard any product ID which, which is similar to this, but not exactly this. And in that circumstances, as I mentioned, it is going to give you the error. So here I'll put zero and you can see that zero means false. So now people I'll just hit OK and see what is my output. So here is the first product name and I'll similarly drag this formula down and you will see that this has looked up for all the product names from that sheet. So people you've seen how do we do VLOOKUP. I'm also going to talk about one more way to do VLOOKUP and that is instead of going to that sheet and selecting that sheet manually I can even go ahead and name this entire sheet as products to find out more details of this name box and how to work with name you can expect videos in future now what have I done is I have selected this range and given the name as products and now you will see that the same products can again be used in my new VLOOKUP function. So here I'm going to get the cost. So after I write cost, I'll type VLOOKUP function and I'll press shift F3 to get this box. Again, people, my lookup value happens to be the product sold. Table array is now going to be products. But for some reason, let's assume that I have forgotten the name of the range that I selected. What I can do is I can simply press F3 and select the product name and click OK. Now, since I need the column number, I'll switch over to the previous table and see the column of cost is the third column from the product ID column. It's one, two and three. So I'll put three here and I'll put zero. After I do that, I'll click OK and you will see that I've got the details in this column. So people, this is the first lesson on VLOOKUP. In the next lesson, I'm going to talk about the range lookup as one. The last part that we put as zero, I'm going to change that to one and we'll see what is the impact of one in VLOOKUP. Hope you have liked this video. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.